Every veteran has a story and this Memorial Day weekend we want to give them a voice. Most of the brave men who served in World War II are no longer with us, but Kevin Reese got the chance to meet one about to take a journey to the past. I went to the VA hospital in Dallas for a chance to meet an American yeah. hero. Uh, my name is Clifford Stump, S-T-U-M-P. An 82nd Airborne Division hero, 94 years young. In World War II, and I served in Europe. I met Clifford Stump to learn more about D-Day, the invasion of Normandy, and the glider he was in. It's uh, something you'll never, ever forget. The one that dropped him behind enemy lines carrying a jeep and a cavalry cannon. Shell of that glider just, just rumbles and rattles and you wonder if it's ever going to hold together for you to, to get to the ground. It was the most scariest thing that you could ask for. But if he had the chance. I guess maybe I'm still young and dumb when it comes to something like that. You'd do it again. I probably would. And next month that might happen. He's going back to Normandy for the very first time for the 75th anniversary of D-Day, selected by USAA to take the trip for free. You know, I don't know how many is going to be in this group that they're taking. And at the VA, where he went today to make sure his pacemaker is up for the trip, he'll tell every friend who will listen and that he hopes the president will be there too. I was so excited to get in pick. Mm -hmm. Maybe <laughs> after, we get to meet Ivanka. After all. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> but right. as he returns to Normandy, the D-Day memories are returning too. Yeah, that's where I lost my best buddy. He yeah. hopes he's ready for yeah. that. Sniper got him. So it was tough to take. I have mixed memories, but uh, most of them I have tried to just completely erase from my mind. But in his still very sharp mind now is the goal to make as many good memories as he can, as many friends as possible, by offering his advice to a long and happy life. You guys start chasing the girls a little bit more. I should? Mm hmm Okay. What do I tell my wife about that? Oh, well, I'm sorry. Well, you can't qualify. <laughs> What he's truly happy he's qualified for now is a trip back to Normandy, a trip back in time. In June, the same month as his birthday when he turns 95. Just enjoy life. Life is way too short. And I hope and pray that nobody else has to go through what I've gone through. And that is why you stop to talk to an American hero, to maybe pick up a dose or two of wisdom before another old soldier glides away. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese. What an honor to meet Mr. Stump. We hope you have a very safe trip to Normandy. You're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there. I think there was uh, about 16 million Americans served yes. in World War II. Less than half a million are still alive today. So uh, Kevin getting a chance to sit down with Clifford, that was something special. You know, this weekend we're honoring American heroes like Clifford. Carry the Load celebrates really the true meaning of Memorial Day. And today our phone bank raised more than 11 thousand dollars. Yes. That's, that's thanks to all of you who were calling in. Teams are spreading the message by walking across the country, culminating in Dallas with a rally in March this weekend. Uh, the event kicks off Sunday at noon at Revershawn Park. I hope you can join me for the opening ceremony at 345, followed by the march at 430, and I'll be back for the closing ceremony Monday afternoon at 1230. Bur